Okay, so I'm going to briefly go over the radar here uh, on the screen over here. So, when even if I'm not in air-to-air -air mode, this all works. So these are radar contacts. There are little white dots with a uh, tadpole coming out of it. If it's gray, that's a sh that's a former contact. You can see there's two ships moving towards me. I can increase and in decrease my range, change my azimuth sweep. So you can see my radar sweep. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can click that and change it so it's a narrower sweep for more updates. This is my cursor. And what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, this cursor on top of that target. A fun little fact. Top number is the max altitude the radar can see at this distance. The bottom number is the minimum altitude the radar can see at this distance. So if I take that cursor and bring it closer, the radar cone is smaller. It's like a flashlight coming off the airplane. So right Next to the airplane, I can only see 19,000 above me, 12,000 below me. But if I push out to like 30 miles, like this is set to 40, so like somewhere in here is like 30, so it's like 30, 20, 10, because I'm set to 40. So at this like 30 ish mile mark, I can see 34,000 uh, feet up, negative 2,000 below. And if I change my antenna elevation here, you can see the little T moving. When the T's there, it's centered. When it's down, that means the antenna's looking down. When it's up, it's looking up. And you can see when I play with it, the altitude brackets change. But I keep it at a neutral position most of the time. So every time the little bar passes, you see these guys update. So when I put my cursor over it, it'll give me the current altitude readout. Uh, if I put my cursor over a target, press TMS up, and it hard locks it. It gives me more regularly updated data the radar is going doo, 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 doo. it's activated a actively uh, tracking and I get a little box here so I'm gonna go to air to air mode by clicking AA some new symbols we're gonna go over um oh, where's my mouse okay I guess I don't get a mouse in this menu well on the right you see a little ladder and let me go to two view. this little ladder here which is kind of my launch parameter and this little chevron that's dropping uh, let's get a little bit closer. You can see the circle for the MRM, medium range missile. I currently have an AMRAM select. If I hit missile step, it changes missiles. There we go, back to MRM. Pause. Okay, so now you see that little chevron is on the ladder now. If it's at the top of the ladder, that means you're at R max, range maximum. I could fire an AMRAM, it has enough energy to get there, but if the enemy does something as simple as turn around and run away, the missile's going to fail. You want to get it in the double bar, which will get closer. So, it's closing. See the chevrons coming closer. And on the radar down here, they're getting closer to us. When it drops in this double bar, when the chevron drops in the double bar, you'll see the circle start flashing. This means I'm in ideal firing parameters. This is no escape. If I fire now, the it will have enough energy to reach the target no matter what he does. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean the missile's guaranteed to hit. It just means it has enough energy to get there. So to fire an AMRAM, uh, I have to press and hold the weapon release button for a second and a half. One, two, three. One, box three medium. Uh, some new symbology. Uh, M02, that means my missile will become actively guided in two seconds, and I can de-lock the target. One. So, now that it's turned to a T, I can unlock the target and turn away and attack another target. Uh, T16 means it is 16 seconds to estimated impact. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Splash. Okay, so now let's go back down here. This guy's super duper close. Oh, that doesn't work. So I'm going to bump my radar range down. Since he's dead and I don't care to look at him anymore, I'm going to press TMS down to unlock and return my radar to search. Um, and he, the tadpole is pointing away, so he's flying away from us. Wherever the tadpole points is where he's going. So I've just dropped into my range maximum, my deal firing parameter. If I want, I can press the missile step button and change the sidewinder. Uh, we're too far away to really make much of a difference, so uh, we don't even really got to growl or anything. 